explains about a radar system MCQs here. So we just continue now. You just type uh, whatever the answer you have in a chart, and uh, I suppose to provide you one by one the, the question. Few questions are there. So now uh, you have with you a scope here to read the question carefully and then type your question in the chat there. So I hope that eight members are here right now. Evidently. Please type your answer in the chat. Okay. So people are typing. So very good. So if some people are typing C, it's right. Okay, so correct now. But answer C is correct. Okay. So thank you all. Now we'll proceed to the different answer. That is about answer is about C. Okay, it's correct. So now next question. Question next. Second question an elementary form of a radar consists of a transmitting antenna emitting electromagnetic radiation generated by an oscillator, a receiving antenna, then uh, an energy detecting device or all of the above. What is your answer? Please type in the chart. There are four options there. So you can type a chart there. So I think people are very good because they are answering correct. That answer is about D. It is about a correct answer there. Okay, so I have seen that in a chart. That D is the option. So now we proceed to the next. The false alarm probabilities of a practical radar are very small, then a small, large, or a very large. So I expect the answer from you. What about the false alarm probabilities of the practical radar? False alarm pro probabilities of a practical radar. So what will be the false alarm probability? False alarm probability is nothing but what? So sometimes we are getting the noise, and that noise is to be considered as a signal. Okay, so that is nothing but false alarm. Probability means what? Because we have defined some threshold level for uh, receivable signal, and if that receivable signal is above that particular threshold value, then uh, uh, that receivable signal is above the threshold value, then and then we accept that signal. If supposed to be that receivable signal is not present, but noise is present, that will be above that threshold value. So, in that case, then alarm will occur. So, what will be the probability for the false alarm? How much will be the false alarm probability? Please type your answer in the chart. It is small, small large or a very small. So I think people are being confused maybe. So people are not able to type the answer, I think. Please type your answer, whether it is your answer, what will be the answer? Someone is saying B. Okay. Now, uh, because false alarm probabilities of a practical radar, it should be a very, very small. So that's why the answer is about A here. So that is about a very small. Because the noise should not be go above that particular threshold value. The next, the false alarm probabilities proves following statement. It is the probability that a noise pulse will cross the threshold during an interval of a time approximately equal to the reciprocal of a bandwidth. Then B option, the exponential relationship between the false alarm time the threshold level results in a pulse around time being sensitive to variations or instabilities in the threshold level. Then see, the threshold level would probably be adjusted slightly above that computed value so that instabilities which lower the threshold slightly will not cause a flood of a pulse alarm. Okay, so now or a all of the above. What will be the answer? Please type ask. So all of you, please type fast your answer. What will be the answer? A, B, C, D. Which one is the answer there? Because that is about a false alarm probability. That naturally it is about the probability between that Niles pulse will cross the threshold. Okay. Or we can say that it is nothing but the relationship between the false alarm and threshold. Okay. Just like, okay. Then threshold label. Okay. It is just like a values at the threshold level. Okay, so now two people have answered correctly. That is about a 
D here. The option is about D. It is about the correct option. Okay, it is about the all about because everywhere we, if you see that, it is mentioned with respect to the threshold there. Next one. If the receiver were turned off for a fraction of time, then A, the false alarm probability will be decreased. Then B, a false alarm probability will be increased by the fraction of time of the receiver is not operative, assuming that the average false alarm time remains the same. Then the false alarm probability will be decreased by the fraction of the time the receiver is not operative, assuming that the average false alarm time remains the same. Then D is about the none of the above. So what will be the answer? It is just related to the false alarm probability here. Okay, so it is about if the receiver were turned off for a fraction of time. Okay, so generally what happened here? So there is a modulator we are using. Okay, so in that case, that modulator will provide you that the on and off so that your false alarm probability is to be find out. Okay, so in that case, if that receiver is off for a fraction of time, then what will happen? So in that case, the false alarm, alarm probability will be increased because we supposed to get that a signal from the any other source that's why we supposed to consider that it will be increased here okay <clears throat> that answer option b is the correct okay so people have typed that option b unfortunately i could not add that okay there's b here in the answer sheet okay so early so next one next question the small changes in the probability of a false alarm result in even smaller changes in the threshold level because what will be the relationship here with the with respect to the whatever the probability and a level threshold level there whether it is a linear relationship whether it is non-linear relationship whether it is exponential relationship or what that is the small changes in the probability of a false alarm result in even smaller changes in the threshold level because of what? Please type answer in a chart. Okay, so we supposed to consider that what will be the answer for the same. Okay, so please type first what will be the relationship between the whatever the probability is there and the With respect to the whatever the threshold value changes, so people are just typing. I think B. I think I have seen that it is earlier one. Please type your answer fast in a chart. That uh, we can someone saying B non-linear relation. It is about exponential relation because the probability and the threshold value. Okay, so it is depending upon each other. So that's why it is about it exponential relation okay that answer c is correct next one the radar cross section is depends on the target size in this regard the following statement is correct the smaller the target okay means size of the target the larger the cross section the larger the target size the larger the cross section okay that is about a radar cross section and c the larger the target size smaller the cross section and d none of the above what will be the answer please type in a chart what will be the answer for the same here this is depending upon okay yes correct it is about a b okay because based on that target size, target is nothing but the area. So according to that, a cross sections we are getting that will be a large. That's why target size, if it is a larger, then a cross section will be a larger. So that's why the answer B is correct now. Next one, variations in the eco signal may be caused by meteorological condition 
or the lobe structure of the antenna pattern, variations in the target crossing. Okay, so we are getting the echo signal that is reflected from the object. So in that case, so what will be the variation in the echo signal? That variation in the echo signal that will be caused by what? That is whether it is the meteorological condition or whether it will be the lobe structure of the antenna or whether it will be the variation in the target process. Please type in a chart fast. Yes, answer correct. That is about a D. It is about the all of the above. Okay, it is about a D. Correct. Next question here. If the PRF, that is pulse repetition frequency, is made too high, okay, so this is about a PRF, is about a pulse repetition frequency. If the pulse repetition frequency is made too high, the likelihood of the obtaining target echoes from the wrong pulse transmission is whether it is decreased, increased, or same or none of the above. Please type in a chart what will be the likelihood of obtaining the target echoes from the wrong pulse transmission is increased or decreased or same. Yes, most of the people are saying B, that is about a increased one, right? It is correct one, it is about a increase B. Okay. Next one, a method of distinguishing a multiple time around echoes from unambiguous echo is to operate with a varying pulse repetition frequency, B, to operate with the same pulse repetition frequency, C, both A and B, D, none of the above. So what will be the answer? A method of distinguishing a multiple time around echoes from the unambiguous echoes. So what will be the answer? It will be operate with a varying pulse repetition frequency or to operate with the same pulse repetition frequency. It is about distinguishing the echoes. Please type in a chart whether it is a, a or B. Only one person has type that is about A. It is correct one. It is about to operate with a varying pulse repetition frequency. That answer is correct. Now next, the spectrum of a CW transmission can be broadened by the application of A amplitude modulation, B frequency modulation, C phase modulation or all of the above. Okay, whatever the spectrum we supposed to consider, it is to be broadening of a spectrum. Whether it is frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, or a phase modulation. Please type in a chart fast. Then we'll proceed to please type in a chart whether it is through the amplitude or if it is phase or through the frequency. What will be the answer? Spectrum, generally we say that it is related to the frequency there. But spectrum broadening. But spectrum broadening again is related to the frequency. But if we change the phase, broadening of the spectrum will. Okay, so spectrum broadening by the phase modeling. That is C. Okay, so next, the radar cross section defines the A scattering ability of the target, power radiating ability of the target, amount of energy scattered by unwanted objects, D cross section of the radar area through which energy is emitted. What will be the answer for this? Radar cross section. What will be this radar cross section? It is about the power radiating by the radar or scattering ability of the target or amount of energy scattered by the unwanted objects or cross section of a radar area through which the energy is emitted. Okay, so someone is writing the D. Okay, 
generally it is about a cross section of a radar area not cross section of radar area it is about the object related thing radar cross section is depending upon that okay what will be the your target or your object that's why the answer for this is about the scattering ability of the target the answer a is correct next it determines the target range by measuring the round trip time of a pulsed micro signal whether it is pulse radar doppler radar cross section radar or not all target determine that it determine the target range by measuring the round trip time of a pulsed micro signal okay round trip time so that is about related to what it is about a signal is supposed to be considered so that is about a okay that answer is given it is here it is sir okay so it defines based on the pulse right correct a answer is correct that is about a pulse radar next one a high noise figure in a receiver means okay if the noise figure is high then it is about a poor minimum detectable signal or a good detectable signal or receiver bandwidth is reduced or high power loss okay so can consider that okay so I, unfortunately i type okay my mouse saying okay so that's why that answer is about a poor minimum detectable signal okay so we can go to the next one the sensitivity of a radar receiver is ultimately set by sensitivity is depending upon what whether it is with respect to the signal to noise ratio or lower limit of the signal input or or no noise temperature or a higher figure of merit what will be the answer so sensitivity generally depending upon that for a given de de device or for a receiver what will be the in noise there in that case the so noise term it is related to what figure of merit as well as signal to noise ratio as well as the noise temperature so it is about the because device we have so if the temperature is there so so overall what will be the noise temperature for those device okay that's why that answer is about is three here next one a second time around echoes are caused by a second time reflection from the target then b echoes returning from the target beyond the cathode tube range or echoes that arrive after transmission of the next pulse or extreme ends of the band so what will be the answer that is the second time around echoes are caused by whether it is the second time reflected second time reflection from the target or echo returning from the target beyond the cathode tube range or echo that arrives after the transmission of the next pulse okay most of the people are typing that is about the b so answer for this it is not a b it is about a c here it is about the echo that arrive after the transmission of the next pulse okay so that is about a c one next question the radar stands for what is the long form of the radar so what will be the radio detection direction and reflection radio detection and ranging radio waves and dispatching and receiving okay so people are typing b correct that is about it then the gain of a radar transmitting antenna is a less than that of a radar receiving antenna b almost equal to that of a radar receiving antenna c is slightly higher than that of a radar receiving antenna d much higher than that of a radar receiving antenna what will be the answer for this? the gain of a radar transmitting antenna is that is almost equal to the that of a radar receiving antenna that answer is about it next one a large antenna is used in a radar because it gives what higher gain it gives a lesser slide load increase the beam width or increases bandwidth so what will antenna size will be a larger what will be the answer? okay if the size of that antenna is increases so naturally the gain will be increased that's why it gives a higher gain 
So no need to talk about the side loads. It will be lesser, okay? But mostly we supposed to get that higher gain of an antenna. So that's why it gives a higher gain. Okay, so that answer A is the correct one. Next, a radar cross section is affected by that is about a cross section. Mostly we can say that it is about a target. So what will be the size and shape of the target? Then a target aspect, then a target material and a carrier frequency and all of the above. So mostly it is related to the target. Yes, correct. It is about the D. It is about target size and shape, target shape, target material, all of the above. Okay, so correct. That is about a D1. Then a radar that is useful for measuring the height of an aircraft is known as, okay, so device. This one is useful for the measurement of the height. So we have seen that a CW FM radar, okay, so CW FM radar is used as a radar altimeter. So it, the altimeter is the one of the applications of a CD, FMCW radar and that FMCW radar is useful for the measurement of the height. So radar altimeter, that is about the answer A is correct. Okay, so that is useful for the measuring of the height. Next one. The Doppler frequency is large if, what will be the frequency, Doppler frequency? The Doppler frequency is large. Okay, so at what case it will be a large? The transmitter frequency is small or the relative velocity of the target with respect to your radar is large. The size of the antenna is large. The relative velocity of the target with respect to radar is small. Okay, so it is Doppler frequency shift when that object or a target is in motion. If that target is come nearer to the radar, so then that there will be the shift in the frequency. Okay. So Doppler frequency shift that will be what we can say that is about a large. Then the velocity of the target with respect to radar is a large. Okay. So that's why the answer that is about a B is correct. That is about the relative velocity of the target with respect to your radar is large. Then a radar is useful for what purpose? Whether it is useful for the graph ground mapping only or airport surveillance only, with the forecast only, or ground mapping as well as airport surveillance, surveillance and if with the forecast. So that's about it, A, B, C, D. Okay, so for what purpose that radar is used? Okay, so this one is about what you can say that use of a radar, that use of a radar. Okay, answer is D, correct, that is for the, all these three purposes, okay. Then echo, echo is nothing but what, signal, echo is nothing but what, it is about a reflected signal, transmitted signal, it is about a reflected signal, that is about, that's why it is about a D here. Flutter, flutter is what, whatever the nearby object we have, so through that your uh, signal is reflected, so that's why. Flutter is not the signal that is required signal, so it is nothing but an unwanted echo. Okay, that is from the tree or any other object is present. So that's why it is about an undesired signal or an unwanted echo signal. So that, that, that's why clutter is nothing but an A here. So that's all about whatever we have is, uh, here. MCQ is there. 